Hi, I'm Colonel Lee. This is Life with Colonel Lee. And today we're gonna take you to one of my favorite locations. Bet you can't guess where we're going. We're gonna do a kettle corn event. We're gonna spend a day there as one of my favorite locations, Fort Worth Stockyards. All right. So we're just gonna spend the day there. We'll set up, we'll be open by 10. Probably shut down about 5.30. Uh, we'll see some of our friends out there. Uh, just see what the life is like there at the stockyards. Show you what uh, kettle corning is like in Texas. Colonel Lee style. <laughs> There's the downtown skyline. We're headed to Fort Worth Stockyards, set up in our little spot. We're not expecting a huge crowd today, but we're going to set up nonetheless. Looking for tourist and stock show rodeo folks coming to check out the stockyards. So. Maybe we'll have a decent day of sales. We're in the stockyards. The old red brick road. So follow the red brick road to the stockyards.
this looks person like, uh, is gonna go the wrong way. Yeah. It's one way. I don't think he realizes that. that looks like the red canopy lady is gonna be here today. She's gonna be set up selling corn dogs and ribbon fries. Are uh, cleaning the street here. Going to our little spot here. Texas Cowboy Hall of Fame. Well, they moved the table. Yeah, we'll have to move it back. So, this is our spot. Walk over to Stockyard Station and take a look. Lots of neat little shops, restaurants. We have Risky's Barbecue. So here's inside Stockyard Station. So there's a hamburger joint. This is barbecue. We'll take a look at the tracks here. There's a little turnaround point over there. There's a lot of little shops here. Souvenirs. Here's a real neat little store. Texas hot stuff. They sell some of our kettle corn. Christmas time, they sell our peppermint bark and pecan pie. They have lots of neat little knickknacks and souvenirs, memorabilia. In the summertime, they sell our caramel and sea salt. So they order about 40 a week. Hey. So we're going to head over to the Texas Cowboy Hall of Fame where we're set up. Saturday, January the 19th, 2018. It's supposed to be near 60 degrees today. A bit breezy though, you can tell by those flags. Let's see if I can steady this camera up a little better. All in line. So the white buildings over there <coughs> probably help the rodeo. The indoor road. Uh, Arena. Here's the Stockyard Exchange building. This used to be the Visitor Center. They're going to make that a media center soon. Oh, I guess it's open now. RFD TV. They can sell hot cocoa too, huh? So are we. We are set up right here. Texas Cowboy Hall of Fame. Very nice museum in there. They have over a hundred old buggies. Horse drum buggies. Very interesting. You can get your uh, picture taken with an old Tommy. Tire with guns and all that. Here's Laura fixing up our menu board. Five 
Hi, Laura. Hello. <laughs> so we are pretty much set up. So this is the uh, Exchange Street. The uh, Longhorns will come down this road and go right down through here at 11.30 a.m. every day. And then at 4 p.m. they come back. Herd of Longhorn. <coughs> so we have tall banners that stick up way in the air, but they didn't want us, they told us to take them down here. I guess they're kind of block, we're blocking some view, I guess. So, not very easy to build a setup over here. So we do consider ourselves lucky. So we have hot cocoa, coffee. Little coffee condiment bar here. We're gonna have samples set up here shortly. Set up some bags on the counter. So these carts were all made by me, Colonel Lee. This is our sales cart. This is our three sink compartment cart. Extra supplies. Kind of a mess we uh get blowing and going sometimes and <clears throat> clean up later so we have caramel sea salt hanging up here original kettle corn hanging there and some other times we'll have another net over here with popcorn in it so drink supplies there and here and then we have some butter rum caramel coconut buttery caramel cocoa so I made these little dividers here so we can stack up corn makes it very handy in football season we'll fill these up and go through every one of them you know right Laura? Mm -hmm. <laughs> so here's our uh, spice cart here's all our corn sugars and oils so we're trying to make it easy as possible loading and unloading so these carts are on caster wheels and they're lockable so we just roll them out lock them into place and get going so here is our 160 quart kettle just ready for the first batch probably make some original Where business is always
Stockyards. How are y'all doing? I'm Jacob Haggerty here with Big Jake. Welcome to Fort Worth Stockyards. That's a wrap. Bye. Six o'clock, we're out of here. Well, the nightlife is coming out. All right. All right, well, I hope you enjoyed the event today. One of my favorite locations, Fort Worth Stockyards. Uh, <clears throat> it wasn't an average day course you know we're in January uh, this is our slowest time of year as far as event wise and sales wise so I did want to let you know how we did on sales so just to give you a scale of our sales at the stockyards a slow day is about five hundred dollars in sales an average day is about a thousand to twelve hundred and then a good day is around 2,000 to 2,200 in one day. Uh, we have 
been at the stockyards for a couple of years now and we've had the highs and lows so that whole range of uh, cells there we've experienced many times so today it was kind of between mm, it was towards the low end it was a slow day a lot of people were out uh, we had some good weather so it brought a lot of people out <clears throat> but some days people buy some people some days people don't but not a bad days to sell we uh we did right around six hundred and fifty dollars today in sales. Oh, I mean, it's not terrible. And what else are we gonna be doing? Just sit around the house. Might as well go out there and have fun. So I yeah, look forward to uh, showing y'all some more events in the future. As the year progresses, we'll have uh, bigger events. Uh, a lot more to show you. And uh, hope you enjoyed the video.